We're learning about a young woman gunned down in Portsmouth. Her family says she was an innocent bystander shot and killed on her brother's birthday. Good evening, I'm Regina Mobley. And I'm Stephanie Hudson. The shooting yeah. happened on a Monday evening in February on Allard Road. 22-year-old Elijah Johnson died at the scene. Now, police have not made any arrest yet in this case. 10 on your science, Kiana Patterson has new information from the victim's family. Elijah Johnson was loved by so many. She was caring and giving, and her family wants people to know that their actions have consequences. They're now calling for people to come forward with any information. It's this smile the family of Elijah Johnson misses the most. Smiling from ear to ear with them eyes closed, you know, that's how she smiled. Her parents say the Mount Special Needs Prom and graduation from Manor High School are moments they cherish even more. The littlest things were the biggest things to her. Now, when you turn onto Allard Road, you'll see her memorial. That's a symbol for everybody that's riding past to know that we're not gonna forget what happened. On February 27th, her brother's 17th birthday, she was helping her dad as he brought in the cake into the house. As soon as I shut the door, it was a wave of shots. I mean, just loud banging through the house. And traveling through the walls. The shots come in and, you know, it hits her and it hits her in the head and uh, she goes down and I'm yelling, you know, for my wife to call 911. And um, as she's trying to do that, another set of shots come through. A horrific event, cutting her life short at just 22 years old. She saw the world through the eyes, I say, of an angel, you know, and uh, that love that she put out there, you know it was genuine. Her family says she was labeled with special needs, but that never stopped her. She was boundless in the things that she could do. Over 200 people showed up to her funeral, the support overwhelming, but now her family needs support from the community to find the person responsible. And the Johnson family is working with Portsmouth police to try to get tips on what happened. They say any information can help bring a sense of peace and healing. And you can reach them through the crime line or you can text the Pre Through Tips app. Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.